Alrighty, so this has happened a lot sooner than uh, I would have liked or expected, but just in time, I got uh, the maintenance done on the generator and changed the oil on the snow thrower, which was not easy. Uh, I definitely made a huge mess there. But anyway, that's all done, and I can, uh, I don't know, I get to test out all my equipment for real now. So anyway, I'm going to get this stuff set up, and I'm going to see how my torpedo heater does against the snow. So catch you in the next one. Alrighty, so it since it's undeniably cold out, and you can even see there's a little bit of snow on the Hawk, I had to move the Hawk outside so I could park the Honda in the garage. But anyway, I thought I'd do a cold start video today, and uh, yeah, I'm going to pull out the Hawk just enough and see if I can kick it over. So uh, I'm going to set the camera down, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. all set up ready to go. Don't want to fall. Uh-oh. It's really cold out. Anyway, I'm going to do a cold start. We'll see how that goes. In the last video, I didn't fix the uh, pull start. As you can see, I took the typical way out, which probably won't last too long. I just tied a knot in the cord for the handle. But uh, let me see. The choke is on. I'm going to turn the gas on. And uh, I'm just going to pull, turn it over real slow, make sure I press start. It's pretty cold out. This also gives me the chance to do a cold start on our snowblower. I just got this this past year. And, uh, yeah, I did an oil change on it. And other than that, it starts and runs pretty good. So let's see if it'll start for me. Just a little bit of throttle. You can prime it. And... Full choke, I think.
But anyway, actually, I think that's going to do it. I'm going to try and get some work done and uh, try and get some of the snow cleared and stuff. So thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.